Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, science fun. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin, and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge. Today, we're talking about some science fun, and right now, for us, we're getting close to summer, so you can use these apps if you're in the classroom and it's the end of the year, you're after all of the assessment and you're doing everything and you're trying to find fantastic learning activities that would teach a lot, but can be a little bit more open-ended, this is the right time. And if you're a parent or a teacher and you're doing some activities during the summer, science is a great thing to do during the summer and we're gonna share some apps that can help you design some science activities or actually do them directly on the iPad. So let's start. The first app I want to talk about is actually called DIY Sun Science. And DIY Sun Science is a fantastic uh, development from UC Berkeley and from uh, NASA. And it has a lot of activities around light, space, and other things. So here's one thing that you can do. This is a live, or almost live, a observatory of the sun and this is based on images that are actually collected in real time from the sun and shared with us through the app and one of the things that you can do is you can use different filters to see different wavelengths that we obviously can't see with the naked eye and those allow you to see different aspects of things that happen on the sun so if you've got a really hot day and the sun is kind of coming down and you want to still learn something about the sun that we can't look at directly you can use this and look at this so you have what is the range you're looking at? This is extreme ultraviolet. And what do you see when you look at it? So here you can see the corona loops and the hot gases that uh, erupt from the sun, but you can look at different wavelengths and see different aspects of what's going on on the sun. This is a fantastic way to look at it. There's a short explanation. It's short enough to actually for kids to be interested and uh, read and learn something new. So this is this part and you can see that this is actually live and you can see here exactly when we're uh, shooting this is by about 20 minute uh, or so delay 25 minute delay so that's one thing another thing that they have is they have a lot of short video especially uh, timed videos where they condense time so you can see what happens on the sun in short amounts of time uh, so you can see, for example, what does one hour of solar granules look like and it picks the video from uh, YouTube and you can watch that uh, develop on your screen as it goes. So you, and this is a 34 second video, so this is something you can uh, again explore. And one of my favorite things, and this is why it's great uh, for summer, is you can go to activities and there are lots of activities that you can do at home or you can do in the classroom around the sun and this is one of my favorite explaining why we have a hot equator and cold poles and this is this walks you through the activities what do you need three thermometers you can do it with one but three are better and a 40 watt uh, bulb how long it takes exactly every step of the way so you've got materials steps and then how to register the data and finally if you get all the way the explanation to what's going on and the connection to the earth and the sun so this is a great way to get something going and to explain a very important concept to kids why are the equators hotter than the poles uh, the angles and all of that so this one is called DIY Sun Science and it's a fantastic app I would definitely urge you to use it. The next one I want to talk about is Cosmos and Cosmos is right now happening on uh, Fox and uh, it's fantastic episodes and what you can do in this app is explore it a little bit further, get episodes and get little tidbits and quotes from the original show. So you have the same setup as the show with a spaceship, you have the different episodes you can go to the cosmic calendar as it shows up in the show so you can go and look at that specific month and then explore and you can see how the different dates show up 
with the main events during that time. So you can go to that era and now you can see the timeline, what happened there and you can get more information and you can also move on the timeline as it moves ahead and then uh, get that information as well. Um, you can see if we explore by episodes, you can see that there's a synopsis and then you can explore further so you can go deeper into it and you get a sneak peek, you get the full episode, it connects you to a different app and if you go you can see that there's the depth to it so you can get more and more information as you move through in this uh, three-dimensional space. So this is Cosmos. If you're not watching the show, you probably should be if you're interested in science. And this is a great app to connect you to the different uh, chapters. Finally, um, I want to talk about two different apps that will allow you to do some other kinds of exploration. So our next app is Color Uncovered. And in this app, you can actually explore on the iPad features of color and light and you can see each one of those pages is an activity here it's an activity about the fact that everything is derived from three basic colors and they're asked to put one drop of light here and to be able to see all the colors from there and then if you want to know there's the explanation of exactly what's going on in creating color and the theory around it and again it's not too long a text kids can actually read it and enjoy it without feeling that they're overwhelmed with information and you can see that each one of those pages uh, allows you to have a different activity that explores a different aspects of colors so this is color uncovered it's great so you really can do some things so even if you're uh, not able to go out or don't want to get a lot of other materials uh, color and sound uncovered are great apps, they're free apps, so you want to explore those. And of course, and I've talked about this app before, but I really think it's worth talking about, Bill Nye the Science Guy has an app that is based on the show and a lot of good ideas for science experiments and the explanations around them and we have to touch. And so when the app opens, it allows you to have lots of information that you can use and one of my favorite things to do is the do-it-yourself. So there's lots of experiments that you can do yourself with things you can find at home and learn about concepts of science. And this is, again, great to do in the classroom if you want to have some exploration uh, activities, if you're doing some kind of summer camp and you're focusing on science, or if you are at home with kids and you want them to do something that they will actually learn from. So this is Bill Nye the Science Guy. Great app. It's very deep. It's got a lot of information and a lot of different activities. So I would highly recommend that as well. So today in iPads in the Classroom we talked about different science activities and how we can use the end of the school year or even uh, the summer to have kids explore science and have more time to think about how to conduct experiments, how to do these activities, and what you can learn from them. And I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.